Hello everyone, welcome to my farmhouse. I am Martha, I'm a shepherdess here on Alabama Grumpy Goat Farm. And today's tutorial is going to be on my wool felted soaps. So I make a goat milk and honey soap, all natural. Sometimes I do add fragrances or um, essential oils, but the majority of my stuff is unscented for people who really struggle with their skin. I use no water in my soaps. It's all 100% oils and milk. And then I wrap it with um, wool and I felt it down halfway. The wool does two things. Number one, it makes the life of the soap last longer. And then number two, it acts as an exfoliant. Um, so I don't ever exfoliate my body, my face, or anything. Um, I don't use soap on my face. I use a beeswax cleanser, but um, as far as my body and people who do use this, they do use it on their face. As you use this, this is gonna shrink, 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 especially as your soap shrinks. And when there's no more soap out of um, your wool, um, you know, scrub, then you can do that you can do two things you can either continue to use the fabric that's left over because it will then be felted down in like a fabric and continue to use that um, or like me you can throw it out and the birds will take it and use it uh, in their nests there's no lanolin in it so it's 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 wonderful for birds nests and little critters i've only half done the work and as you know farm work is very exhausting work and a lot of elbow grease. And so I figured to get the farm experience, you have to do the other half. And how you do that is when you get it, your soaps will look similar to this. And they're about a three and a half to four ounce soap. Um, and then they're wrapped in this wool. When you get it, you're gonna take this and you're gonna put it in hot water. I take a bowl of hot water. I mean, a bowl of water, put it in the microwave until it's hot. And I let it sit there about five, six minutes because you're gonna to have to wet felt this. This is, this is felted that I've done, dry felted, but you're gonna to have to wet felt it. And as you can see, it floats around. It's gonna take a while for the water to saturate all that wool and down into the bar. One, and this is, uh, this is uh, already been done. Ooh, this is still really hot. Your water's gonna be brown. Um, do not freak out, it's not dirt, it's honey. When I add honey into all my bars, um, it turns the, the bar uh, a brown. The browner your bar is, so if you were to look, I'm gonna lay that right there. If you were to look at these two bars, this one has a lot more honey than this one does. So um, anyhow, um, so after you've um, let this sit for five, six minutes, and it's gonna be saturated with water, you're gonna take it and you're just gonna start squishing it, just like this. Don't rub it yet, don't rub it yet. What you're wanting to do is you're wanting to do this until you start seeing soap come out. And it is starting to get soapy. And just keep, let that soap get through all those fibers. And then as you can see, I'm starting to rub the soap around and around in my hands. And what I'm doing is I'm now wet felting it. Those fibers are opening up the scales on the uh, wool are opening up and they are joining with other scales and they're combining and as the hot water and soap with agitation it becomes like a fabric that's why you don't wash anything in your washing machine that's 100 percent wool because that water with the soap and everything will shrink it that's what you're wanting to do you're wanting it to shrink and you're going to do this for about another three or four minutes five minutes maybe if your bar starts getting a little dry, just stick your hand in that warm water, add a little bit more water, squeeze, get more of that soap out, and go around and around and around. And it will start looking like this. And I don't know if you can tell on here, my house has a lot of windows, so sometimes it's hard to get where you can see the details, but it's gonna start making a fabric. And it's kind of soapy. It will get much soapier than this the more you use it. But at this point, you can use it at, and it, you get soap on your hands. You'll, you'll see that. This is now ready to go into the shower. And when you're in the shower, you scrub, 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 you lather up. When you get out of the shower, or when you turn the water off, go ahead and squeeze all that excess water off and let it dry. It's gonna be soapy looking, but let it dry. And some of the properties in wool are, are amazing. They will keep this from being mold, from getting moldy. But it also, like I said, it retains the soap in there, so you're not putting something dirty on your skin. There's that soap that's all through those fibers on the outside, and it preserves it. 
until the next day that you use it. I want to show you the different stages. So, as you can see, you go from this size when you get it, and then it will be this size for a couple of weeks. And then when the, the soap actually starts, um, you know, being used up, it will get this size. Now this is gonna look terrible because I did this with leftover from one of my white sheep, but then it gets this small. And eventually, it, and this by the way, I use um, in my shower and I've used this probably for eight weeks, eight, nine weeks. And you can still see the size of my soap. But um, this eventually, the soap will be gone and you'll have this flat little piece of fabric. And at that point, that's when I throw it out and the critters get it. So, um, so if I have to do work to give you guys a good product, then you guys are going to have to do some work as well. It's a wonderful way to support um, farmers that have not first quality stuff. So when I share my sheep, that first quality is when I make garments out and I do my weaving and all that kind of stuff. There is the second, which is kind of like the sides of the sheep, you know, around this area. It's excellent. I can still wash it. I still make stuff out of it. But what it does is it makes wonderful wool soaps. So literally, we're using everything except for maybe the rear end part, the really nasty parts. We're using every bit of the fiber that comes off of my animals. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Um, let me know if you have any questions and I will answer those. And so back to farm I go and I hope you guys have a great day.